Get you some nuts. Oh, yeah, do ba ba da ga ga ga. Get you some nuts. They're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna lick some nuts. Ooh, boo ba da da. If you don't like to bleed, baby, read. Tuna, tuna in a can. It will get hard. Some nuts will get hard. When the hard nuts. What, what is the old saying? When the, when the, when the, when the, t when the tough get going. The, I don't know what it is. What's up my fellow small business supporters? There is so much going on right now. I don't know if you guys saw the video that I recently put out last Monday. It was another collab video that I did with Monica and in that video we were talking about MLM's multi-level marketing companies and the ways that a lot of them were kind of trying to exploit the big health crisis that's going on right now. I'm not gonna say the word because my ass got demonetized so fast on that video when I did about ways MLMs were trying to exploit that and also the way that that particular crisis is really affecting small businesses right now and all of that. Thank you to everyone who watched that video, but thank God that Tyler picked up this beer for me because after I finished premiering that video, I got a DM on Instagram from one of my viewers who was telling me, I'm not gonna mention her name or anything because she requested to remain anonymous so she was telling me how she is in the process right now of getting out of an MLM. She had belonged to Senegents which is the company that makes lip sense products. That's a whole thing. I haven't really gone that deep into that MLM before and I potentially will in a video in the future if you guys would like that but basically that's kind of the company that a lot of people have had trouble with their lipstick because it's been burning people's lips a lot and that kind of thing other than you know just it having an MLM structure which is already a problem in itself. So she messaged me and was telling me about how she's currently getting out of that MLM, but that she had noticed people in her social media groups currently trying to exploit this health crisis as well. So I was like, shit, this is happening even more than I thought. We need to address it. And then, and then, that was not all. Because I went on to one of my favorite YouTube channels, The Cardone Zone, and saw that our friend, good old Grant Cardone, the world's best boss bro, was exploiting this crisis as well. In fact, he particularly said, exploit. So I was like, holy shit, the boss bros, the boss babes, the, the MLM people of the world, the scammy business gurus of the world, they are just trying to take advantage of this big health crisis in every possible way. That's kind of unacceptable. So I figured we had to talk about it and I can never resist roasting Grant Cardone. So let's have fun. Exploit the nuts. Go to get a can. They're gonna, 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 this shit's only 6%, but I'll, I'll forgive it. Hello everyone, I'm Savvy. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. Multiple times a week, I put out new videos about books, writing, small business owner life, and anti-MLM stuff. The reason that that's so important to me is that all of those things actually tie together for me. Some people are like, huh, you're a booktube channel and an author tube channel and an anti-MLM channel and an exposing business scams channel. Yes, because for me, these are all one and the same. I actually run a small business that produces children's books and stuffed animals based on the stories of real rescue dogs and their journeys to adoption. Our business also produces stuffed animals and other merch that goes along with it and gives part of our profits to local animal shelters. Because of that, I am very invested in the books and writing world because I am an author myself. However, as someone who is also a small business owner who believes in taking an entrepreneurial approach to writing, I am appalled at the way that some business gurus, some business self-help people are out there trying to exploit and take advantage of small business owners. I hate that the way multi-level marketing companies are trying to sell the concept of small business ownership to people and in the end end up exploiting and taking advantage of them. So calling out this behavior is all a part of my mission as an author and a small business owner and a video creator. So if that's the kind of stuff you guys like, I hope you enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell everything will be good. If you're interested in any merch, don't forget to check out the links in the description below because last Monday's video got demonetized and also because a lot of my events have been getting canceled for my small business because that's what I do. I do conventions and festivals and art fairs and craft shows and that kind of thing to meet my customers one-on-one -on -one and sell books and sell stuffed animals because 
those things have all been getting canceled. I have been trying to rely more on online sales. So if any of what I mentioned sounds interesting, if you're interested in reading those books, if you're interested in reading any of my novels, which are young adult and new adult LGBT contemporary novels, they're also linked in the description below, check those out as well. This video was sponsored by my wonderful patrons. Thank you so much to everyone who contributes to my Patreon. If you are interested in supporting this video or supporting me as a creator, you can check out the Patreon as well. Thank you all so much for being amazing small business business supporters even just by watching this video. I appreciate all of you. Leave a comment at the end and let me know your thoughts on the video when we're done. Let's talk about it. So I was not happy with the way that Senegents was responding to this health crisis. So let me show you what I received from one of their current consultants who's on her way out who was basically like this company was some cult bullshit and I'm on my way out of here. So the first thing she sent me from her Facebook group was talking about you know how salespeople, how consultants who are involved in Senegents, which again is the company that makes Lip Sense, which is a multi-level marketing company that makes lipstick that burns people's mouths off, essentially. I've never used the lipstick, so, you know, that's uh, alleged, but um, from what I've heard, a lot of people have had trouble with the lipstick. That's beside the point, though, whether the product's good or bad, the business model's bad, we all know that. If you need more research about why MLMs are a problem, you can check out my whole anti-MLM playlist that breaks a lot of this down linked up in the cards. So anyway, she sent me this um, article that was in the Facebook group about how to react during this health crisis in regards to selling these lipstick products. So the first one says, we know how important it is for you to keep your business open at all times and continue to earn your livelihood even in these uncertain times. Make sure you have your Senna site up and or your CDO turned on. I assume those are terms that they use in this company. But this is the part, this is the part that gets me. Offer the opportunity to those you know whose other streams of income may be impacted right now. They're not even being shy. I gotta take a drink to this. They are straight up saying, we are recommending, because people are losing their jobs right now, right? We know that. I just talked in the beginning of the video about how I've been not, I've been having my events canceled and that kind of thing. I've been losing out on some of my streams of income. I'm very lucky because I do have a job that I can do from home. I do have a couple freelance jobs and I am able to still sell products online. So I'm fortunate, but there are some people whose jobs have been completely lost, who are not able to go into work, who are not able to make any money right now and who are legitimately stressed and suffering, especially if they're getting sick. They just come right in here like, reach out to people who you know their income streams have been impacted and offer the opportunity to them. So basically it's like, while people are down, while people are struggling to find work to make their money, come right in with your MLM opportunity, come in and recruit them, bring them into our, into our business. That's disgusting. I shouldn't be surprised because, you know, when I did the video reacting to Rachel Hollis' speech at the Arbonne convention, when I did those kind of videos, it was very clear that she was intentionally trying to pander to new moms, to people who were struggling to make enough money to either put their kid in daycare or to stay home with their kid or whatever. It was clear that it was specifically targeting people who were struggling. So I shouldn't be surprised about this, but like, I guess I'm just shocked they were so direct about it. The next thing she sent me from the group was an article about something called the lipstick effect. And in the Facebook group, it says that Joni just posted these. So Joni, I believe is the CEO of Senegents. Yeah, so Joni Rogers is the founder of Senegents. She is at the top of the pyramid. She created the pyramid. She built the pyramid with her bare hands and is now recruiting people to sit under her in the pyramid. So apparently Joni, who runs the whole thing, posted this article or sent out this article to distributors called The Lipstick Effect. So this is from a website called Investopedia. So uh, it's like an economics website. So Joni of this MLM is telling people about this economic thing called The Lipstick Effect. The Lipstick Effect is when consumers still spend money on small indulgences during recessions, economic downturns, or when they personally have little cash. They do not have enough to spend on big ticket luxury items. However, most still find the cash for purchase for small luxury items such as premium lipstick. For this reason, companies that benefit Benefit from the lipstick effect tend to be resilient even during economic downturns. Key takeaways. The lipstick effect describes the fact that consumers will still tend to buy small luxury items even during an economic downturn. Cash-strapped consumers want to treat themselves to something that lets them forget their financial problems. The lipstick indicator suggests that an increase in sales of small luxuries such as lipstick can indicate an oncoming recession or period of diminished consumer confidence. So basically that article in the context that it was posted in this group was just saying like, 
like, hey, people are really struggling with their money right now. The only good thing they could probably afford is lipstick, so make sure you take advantage of that. It's disgusting. That's unacceptable. Ugh. And it's the founder of the company encouraging this. Oh my god. And then here's the last one that I wanted to show regarding Lip Sense. It's somebody in this Facebook group for Lip Sense distributors who posted saying, let's start a thread for all the name of this health crisis related graphics that we can relate back to our business. And then they have a picture of someone wearing a face mask and it says, keep yourself healthy and let me ship your Lip Sense. <sighs> So, first of all, nobody in this even addresses the fact this person's wearing a face mask. And like, yeah, you want to wear a face mask, you know, to keep the germs out, but no one's going to see your lipstick under that, which, you know, is totally reasonable. But like, it could be one thing if like they made that part of the joke, but this is just like a shitty meme because of that. They like didn't even address that. Like, ha, it's funny because no one can see your lipstick right now. Obviously they couldn't address that because then it would be like, who would even buy lipstick right now? <laughs> Isn't that gonna make people less likely to buy lipstick if everyone's covering up their faces right now? And then people who aren't covering up their faces are probably not going anywhere for the most part. So like no one's even gonna see it. This might actually be like the worst time to buy lipstick. <laughs> But anyway, just the fact that this post was like, let's start a thread for everything related to this so that we can relate this to our business and get people to buy it by exploiting this crisis. No! I'm gonna run out of beer before I even get to Grant. Nah, that was a joke. I have five more cans of this and a whole handle of bourbon. So I was pretty mad at that. And then I was like, let's see what some other MLMs are doing. So if you saw my video last Monday, Monica and I reacted to a couple of posts about that, both on my channel and on her channel. So I've linked those in the cards and in the description below. You'll definitely want to check those out. But I was like, I bet there's even more than this. I bet there's more than this everywhere. So I was like, I'm gonna go up on Facebook and check this out. And lo and behold. Okay, so to start off, here's one from Arbon that says, important reminder, it is strictly prohibited to make any implications directly or indirectly that Arbon products can cure, treat, heal, support, alleviate, mitigate, or prevent any type of medical ailment or disease that includes references to current big health crisis. In addition, any lifestyle or business opportunity statements need to be true, not misleading, and sensitive to the current social climate. As business owners... <coughs> As business owners, you should only use the approved language on the website and from Arbonne Tools. Hold up, can we just talk about that? As business owners, you can only use the approved language. Is that maybe a sign that you're not a business owner? When you're a business owner, you don't have to use approved language. Now, maybe if you have a business that sells like medical supplies or something, or if you have a business that sells something that's in a regulated industry, there will be laws about what you can and can't say for false advertisement and all of that. Like, I'm not saying that, but like, I feel like that's a thing that people in MLMs ignore a lot, that if somebody is having this much control over how you can market your product, maybe you don't own your business. However, that's beside the point because I think this was actually good that Arbonne posted this. So anyway, so I think, yeah, I think it's a good thing that they posted this. I think that um, it's good that they're addressing it kind of. However, based on what we're gonna see in the next couple of posts and in the ones I just read, most of the business owners, most of the independent consultants are not actually following this advice. Maybe most are, but a lot of them are not following this advice. And because of that, this kind of thing that Arbon officially posts on their official social media, they're just basically saying, hey, lawyer friends out there, we made this statement. So if anyone from our company goes ahead and makes these medical claims, we are not legally liable, even though most people will tell you behind the scenes that their uplines were encouraging them to make these medical claims the whole time. So it's kind of like they're saying one thing publicly and then behind closed doors. The thing they're saying publicly is really just to protect them from legal ramifications and instead push all those ramifications onto the individual consultants at the bottom of the pyramid. So it's a good thing sort of that Arbonne posted this, but it's not perfect. So let's see how MLM consultants are behaving. Are they behaving how the Arbonne page asked them to behave? Well, everyone wants to hate on network marketing until they can't leave their home anymore and wish they had a business. I'm just saying. Okay, as someone who does have a business, I feel like people who are running their own businesses right now are struggling a lot. So now's like not the best time to be like, I wish I had my own business because unless your own business is like remote freelance graphic design or something, in which case like you go girl, you go boss bro, do whatever you want, like that's awesome. Unless it's something like that, running your own business is incredibly difficult right now. One, because the majority of people don't have additional disposable income to be buying products 
products. People have less money right now because a lot of people are getting their wages cut, they're getting their hours cut, some people are outright losing their jobs. A lot of people don't have money. The whole like economy is collapsing right now. People don't have money to be just spending on luxury items for the most part. So it's actually a terrible time to start your own business and it's like oh you can't leave the house so like wouldn't you rather work from your phone that kind of thing. Like that's just completely taking advantage of the situation to try to rope people into this kind of thing where they're not going to make money. So so if you thought I was mad at that one, here's an Instagram story. My sage advice during this current hysteria. Support your immune system. Health begins in the gut. Kill bacteria, preferably without chemicals. Ignore social media and the hysteria. Check on your family, friends, and neighbors. Share your toilet paper stash. And then under it, it says Norwex Plexus Young Living. So I'm not sure which of the MLMs this person is involved in. Maybe they're involved in all of them. I don't know. But first of all, we just need to talk about the medical misinformation here. Health begins in the gut. I do, I'm not a doctor, so I can't say where health begins or ends. I do know that gut bacteria and that kind of thing is related to certain conditions and that kind of thing, but I don't believe that this particular disease has much to do with that as it's kind of like an airborne cell that you breathe in and it's mostly a respiratory thing. Now, if I'm wrong about that, that's totally fair because I'm not a doctor, but I highly doubt this person is either. Ignore social media, end the hysteria, Okay, I understand that it's not helpful to just panic. It's helpful to, you know, practice social distancing, practice, you know, good hygiene, those kind of things. But the whole idea that this whole thing is just hysteria is inaccurate. There are so many people right now who are elderly, people who have autoimmune disorders, people whose immune systems are compromised due to a multitude of other um, disorders that they might have, people, and even just like people who are otherwise healthy but don't have money to be seeing a doctor. Like there's a ton of people who are incredibly vulnerable to be very hurt by this during this time. So when people come out here like ignore it, end the hysteria, like it's better that people be too cautious than not be cautious at all. So I find that a little troubling too. And then the other one, kill bacteria preferably without chemicals. Do you know what chemicals are? Literally everything is chemicals. Water is a fucking chemical. You've got hydrogen and oxygen, which are chemicals, and they make up water, which is a chemical compound. You cannot do anything without chemicals. So when you say no chemicals, like that doesn't even mean anything. It maybe it means like no chemicals that have certain ingredients in them, but like that's not even a distinction you can necessarily draw. Also, you do want to be using antibacterial products right now. I'm sure what's in there is chemicals, but I don't know like I don't know specifically what chemicals you're against but to just say don't use any chemicals as like a, a way to rope someone into like actually use my products which have no chemicals in them which is impossible because literally everything has chemicals our bodies are made of chemicals that's ridiculous that makes no sense this person is incredibly misinformed and is trying to give advice about how to stay safe during a medical crisis and that's scary let's check out what the chief operating officer of Young Living had to say about this on Twitter. Someone who works in corporate. Someone who is not only at the top of the pyramid, but doesn't have to rely on the pyramid for their income. This is a man named Jared Turner. I don't have to block his name out because he's up at the top of the pyramid. He put himself there. Young Living Thieves is coming back in stock tomorrow and we're cranking hard on production to get you these products ASAP. 7,000 units of the 7.6 ounce sanitizer per day, 25 to 30,000 of the one ounce sanitizer per day, 25,000 thieves spray per day. And then it's just a picture of the thieves stuff. So the fact that he's tweeting this out right now being like, we need a ton more of this sanitizer stuff right now when everyone's kind of freaking out about that. Um, I don't know if you saw in the video Monica and I did last week. In there, we reacted to a post of a lady on an airplane who had a thieves spray with her. And she was basically like, I can travel because I have my thieves spray, I have my young living disinfectant, and I'm not gonna get anyone on this plane sick, and I'm not gonna pick anything up, and I can travel all around the world on an airplane. And it's like, no, that is so incredibly irresponsible. And the fact of that young living right now is like trying to push their cleaning supplies and that kind of thing and trying to make money off of this, like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm -mm. The founder of Young Living, Gary Young, is responsible for multiple human deaths. I've talked about that in another video where I reacted to a Young Living keynote speech and also to um, a lady who was at the top of the Young Living pyramid in one of her interviews. So I've done a couple videos on Young Living. I just, I don't trust anything they put out because their founder has shown that he has 
no regard for anything. He's been arrested so many times for practicing medicine without a license. He's caused multiple people to die because of giving them incorrect medical information. And I just think it's disgusting that now their COO is essentially like, yeah, buy this stuff, combat the health crisis. And then finally, we have one from It Works claiming it's going to boost your immune system. Immunity, key benefits, superior daily defender of immune health. Powers up your first line of immune defense. Advanced formula helps you stay healthy. Oh, and then we have, hold up, I can barely even zoom in on this. This is so small. Oh my God, I can't even read this. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, or prevent any disease. So this was on a post that someone had made about like, hey, now's the time to boost your immune system now that we have this disease wrecking people's immune systems going around. And they are promoting something that in fine print, I could barely even zoom in on my phone is like, actually the FDA has never checked this and we don't know if it actually works, but we're gonna say it does. Fuck you, it works. More like it doesn't work. <laughs> I'm finally buzzed enough to take on Tuna in a can The boss bro of the century Our man Tuna in a can Tuna in a can Grant Cardone Mr. 10X So let's see what Grant has to say to us today Get you some nuts Get you some Twinkies in a can So this is a video Grant Cardone put out called Economic Effects of insert the name of the disease here and in this video he's going to talk to us about how this big health problem is affecting the economy and what we can do as members of the cardone zone as 10x people can do to make sure that we stay as rich and powerful as grant cardone is during this time number four remember persist regardless no matter how bad this thing gets you have to persist because others will quit they will quit, trust me. It will get tough, it will get hard. Okay, so persist. This is one of those pieces of advice that it's like, I've said this before, some pieces of advice work in a normal business, but in an MLM structure context are completely, they don't work anymore. They're completely like irrelevant and actually harmful. So when Grant is over here, like the audience he's talking to is just all of his viewers. So they're not necessarily all MLM people, but from, if you guys have seen the video I did reacting to his World Financial Group speech and the other video that I did reacting to a video that he did talking to a network marketer, Grant Cardone has made it very clear that he's in favor of multi-level marketing and he welcomes those people into his audience and he especially tries to target those people and get them to listen to him. So we do know that some of this audience is intended to be MLM people. So when he says persist, no matter how bad this thing gets, like, Encouraging people to just keep on going harder and harder in their MLM is so terrible, but it's not even close to how bad he's going to get. So let's keep going. When the hard, what, what is the old saying? When the, when the, when the, when the, the, when the tough get going, the, I don't know what it is. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. Something like that. And number five, okay. Do you want to take advantage right now? You want to exploit. Exploit. He's not, he, he said it. He said you want to take advantage. You want to exploit. Grant Cardone's being just like lip sense right now. Like not even shy about it being straight up. Like you want to exploit. And he's going to give us a little qualifier. He's going to pretend that's not what he really meant. You want to exploit the distraction. Exploit the distraction. I'm not talking about taking advantage of some Twinkies. That exploit weaknesses. This is straight out of the 10X rule. He's saying, I'm not talking about exploiting the health problem. I'm talking about exploiting, and then he doesn't really clarify what he means. So I think that's exactly what you're talking about exploiting, Mr. Cardone Zone, Mr. 10X, Mr. Uncle G. So let's see what Grant Cardone's best piece of advice for us is during this difficult time. We've got to persist. We've got to exploit. And how are we going to do this, Grant? What physical next steps should I be taking to make sure that I live a life of abundance during an economic crisis? What should I do? Take your money out of your retirement account, out of your IRA, your 401k, in mutual funds, in ETFs. Take that money and get invested in Cardone Capital. Take that money, invest it in Cardone Capital. I wonder if I can 
fucking chug the rest of this right now. I'm not in college anymore, friends. I'm not still a frat boy like Grant Cardone is. He wants you to put your... He wants you to invest in his company. That's what this video is all leading up to. If you want to stay safe during this horrible health crisis where the economy is collapsing, where people are terrified of whether they're going to be able to afford medical treatment if they need it, of play of the, the stores all being bought out of food and necessities because people don't think they can leave their house when we're in a time of legitimate life or death crisis. The best thing Grant says we can do is to invest in his company. It's been so long since I've been legitimately speechless. And like, I even watched that video before I filmed this. So why am I so shocked hearing it again? Maybe, maybe it's the beer. Uncle G! So that's our boss bro friend. Oh my god, I feel like I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I feel like something short-circuited in my brain watching that. So let me leave you guys with my best pieces of advice. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial expert. I'm not a doctor. I am just a regular average person who's looking at a terrible situation and telling you what I think is working for me. Don't listen to MLM reps right now or really ever. Unless they're like people coming to you saying, hey, I'm struggling to get out of this company. Can you please help me? Then yes, absolutely. Show empathy. Be a good friend. Help someone out, obviously. But um, don't listen to someone's medical advice who's trying to sell you essential oils or trying to sell you an MLM product. Don't let someone recruit you into a multi-level marketing company or pyramid scheme or network marketing company. Don't invest your money in- I don't want to say don't invest in Grant Cardone's company because I don't know maybe in a couple years his stock's just gonna shoot way up and then everyone's gonna be like savvy I would have been rich if I invested in Grant Cardone's company. So I, I don't know what you should invest in. I'm not a financial advisor but I would say that listening to the boss bro of Grant Cardone is probably not usually the best course of action considering he's been shown to um, be a cult leader in a couple of ways. So I recommend staying away from that. Talk to an actual financial advisor if you are looking for financial help during this time. Talk to a doctor if you're looking for medical advice during this time. And if you need products for your house, if you need toilet paper, if you need soap, you need bleach, you need food, try your best to support a small business because a lot of the big businesses are getting bought out really, really quick and their shelves are depleted. But it, at least in my neighborhood, a lot of the smaller corner store type places still have a ton of stuff available. So go to those places, support a small business if you're able to. That is my best advice to you. What are your thoughts on all this? Please let me know in the comments below. I will see y'all again soon. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. When the hard nuts get going. When the going gets tough, the nuts get going.